Hey, it's Lisa here with your love note for January 23rd, 2021. It's been a good day. So my mom came and visited this weekend and she got here last night and we spent all day just blowing and going and being, being busy today. And when, you know, I really didn't have a chance to sit down with the guides like I normally do and say, hey, you know, what do you want me to talk about today? But when I did check in and uh, said, you know, wh where, where are we going today? Their response was fascinating because they said, sometimes the way you live life is love note enough. And I thought, well, what do you mean by that? And they said, what do you think that means? And it made me realize that often in life, it's those little bitty tiny awarenesses of joy that can be like the greatest love note of life. It doesn't have to be great big cosmic, you know, lightning bolts of awareness or big huge things that feel the most like love. Sometimes it's the little tiny things. And so today the message around love notes is really twofold. Number one, where can we find the tiny joys in life, the little bitty things to appreciate that might have seemed common at one time, but now that we can see as actually or feel as expressions of love. And number two, where can we shift the things that used to annoy us in the past to now be indicators of joy instead? <laughs> so not long ago, I talked about Joseph Campbell and how, you know, he, he in his work talked about the mythology that connects us all and this idea of the hero's journey. And it basically boils down that this adventure of life really is a hero's journey in and of itself. But he also, Campbell was also a big fan of this idea of follow your bliss. So maybe the two go hand in hand. Maybe it's when we follow our bliss or at least recognize little bits and pieces and breadcrumbs of bliss along this adventure called life that we are actually living the hero's journey. So my mom got in last night and we sat down and we watched a we watched a movie and uh, we watched the movie Soul. So it's the new Disney movie that that's out recently. And um, there was something really touching about one aspect of that movie. There's this little soul that does not want to come to earth. It's like, forget it. It looks boring. I want nothing of it. A little sassy soul who just doesn't want to come down here. And then by these weird, you know, coincidences and things, it ends up on earth. And it turns out this little soul is really great at so enjoying and just like rejoicing and finding bliss in the little tiny things that many of us would, would be annoyed by or wouldn't even recognize as being like amazing and beautiful and worthy of our attention. So finding those little tiny things, it's gonna be different for everyone, right? For me, I don't know what it is about sunrises and sunsets, but when I'm driving back from the gym, there's a couple of times that I will turn certain corners and the sun will be rising and I just, I literally, my I, it takes my breath away. I, you know, do that because it is so beautiful. The way the sun and the colors on the, on the clouds and the sky, it's just gorgeous. So my camera roll is like riddled with, pictures of sunrises and sunsets because that's one little tiny way you know that I just it just the joy and the awe that it sparks in me it's going to be different for each one of you but finding those little tiny things where you can just laugh or feel the love around you or admire and feel the beauty the little things the smell of coffee in the morning if, if that's your thing <laughs> whatever the little things are but the other aspect is sometimes there are things that annoy the crap out of us. <laughs> and when we can take those things and turn them to where they're no longer triggers of irritation, but rather triggers of joy, that's an incredible way to shift perspective and feel more love in our lives too. So today, this after today, um, my daughter had a swim meet. And I'm gonna be honest, and she knows this, so I don't feel like I'm talking bad. Swim meets are not my favorite thing. The whole being in a hot, humid pool area with people and loud noises and, you know, bell whistles and uh, and hair that frizzes and makeup that runs. And, it's just never been my favorite thing. 
But today I shifted my whole perspective on that. And I had so much fun at this swim meet. My mom and I were there together. We were timing in one of the lanes. And I feel, you know, today I was like, let's just straighten the hair and pull it back so I don't have to worry about it. This is not a problem. When I would get splashed by the swimmers when they were doing their flip turns or their dives or whatever, rather than be annoyed by it, I was like actually finding joy in that because it was cooling me down. And then I'm like, this is great. But it was so wild just how taking a different attitude into that swim meet situation, I just had so much fun. And mom and I are sitting there timing together and laughing and joking. There were kids in the lanes, you know, swimmers who would turn, two of them, two swimmers did this, turned around and with all earnestness looked at me and said, thank you for timing. I really appreciate you volunteering to time. These are kids from other teams. I've never heard this before. I'm like, oh my God. Thank you for swimming and for being a good human. You know, I mean, just little tiny things that made such a big difference, uh, you know, in just the overall enjoyment. But then also seeing my daughter have so much fun and cheering on the other swimmers and really, really doing her best and seeing that pay off, you know, and in, in the way she finished in her races. It was just a whole beautiful, beautiful experience. And, um, now we're gonna go in, we're all gonna sit in, my daughter and her boyfriend are here, and my mom, we're all gonna go in and sit in and cuddle and watch a movie on the couch, because why not? And we find joy in that. Sometimes it's the little bitty things and just the way we show up for life that is like a love note from us back to life. Just saying thanks, man, thanks for letting me be on this ride, thanks for all the little ways to be able to experience joy in the day. And what is wild to me, and I found so much to be true, that when we can find joy or bliss or wonder or love or awe or whatever in the little bitty tiny things, A, they're all around us, and B, we end up finding and enjoying so much more joy, bliss, love, wonder in the big things too. So that's the love note for today, just encouraging you Look at the little things, love them, let them love you back. Love the people in your life. I am so glad to hear have my mom here with me this weekend, so glad about that. Just love the people in your life and give them the chance to love you and find joy in you too because it's a beautiful give and take type situation. So with that, just remember that you are always and in all ways very much loved and you're invited to pay that love forward. Have a wonderful night.